Hello, 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 Divas, Diamonds, and Dolls. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, welcome to Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about the five C's. The five C's that are going to bring you from the dating phase into relationship. If a gentleman you are seeing has these five C's, he is a keeper. The first one, if you and him have chemistry, if you have chemistry with this brother, chemistry is something that is animalistic. It's letting you know that he has something that you are attracted to. It's a scent. It's a pull. It's an allure that brings the two of you looking at each other as what is it about this woman? What is it about this gentleman? Something is pulling, drawing, attracting me to him. It's chemistry. Chemistry has the power to put two people into a room and the two of them will hop into bed, make a child because they've wanted to see how far and what this passion, this pull was raw and bring forth a child that they are not ready for. But chemistry you in the right perspective brings the feminine woman and a masculine man, the gentleman, together. And the two of them see this as the attraction, the focus of what is it about her or him that I need to see more of. And that chemistry is going to bring the two of you into the second C, which is conversation. Chemistry gives the two of you time to talk, to get to know each other, to get to know about each other, to talk about dreams, goals, and aspirations as you continue to date, to find out what his real name is, not AJ, AB, Quad Deer, Mookie, Pookie, things of that nature. But getting to know his name that his mother gave him and other things about him. Finding out his upbringing. Talking about how many children he has. Things of that nature as the dating phase proceeds into relationship. But chemistry and conversation is not enough. And this is where people get stuck and end up getting ghosted because they don't press forward outside of chemistry and conversation. They, the next, the third C is connection. What is connecting you guys? What is it going to be long term? When you have the chemistry, you have his attention. You can get all the conversation you want out of him. And he can get all the conversation out of you. Because the chemistry is going to keep the two of you coming back to each other to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. So you have the chemistry. You have the conversation and the time for conversation. The connection. The conversation brings you into connection. What is it about him? You may have nothing in common, but the masculine and feminine energy. He may not be a colleague of yours. He may not be headed in the right direction of where it is that you are going, but it doesn't, that does not make it a deal breaker because you two can come together and the two of you can stare each other into a greater, a bigger destiny together, direction together. 
the connection will connect the two of you what it is that you need from each other want from one each other desire from each other what is the plan and purpose for your life for your relationship for your business or whatever the chemistry the conversation now we know what the connection is the fourth thing if he give you this you're on a good roll the fourth thing is commitment where are we going from here we have this chemistry we've conversated gotten to know each other gotten past the threshold we know why we are connected let's not get ghosted walked away from left hooked up because we are waiting for this gentleman to decide on whether he wants to be committed or not I'm going to put make a video entitled why women need commitment we're not going to talk about it in this video but I just thought I'd mention it but commitment has to be an asset nowadays because we have so many women talking about why I got ghosted he walked away everything was going fine we had the chemistry we talked we had fun we laughed together things of that nature we seem to be connected but we don't want to talk about commitment we allow a joke a brother a gentleman to come up and say I'm not ready for commitment when you know you are ready for commitment now no judgment if you want to get into the zone of I want to see what's bringing us together the chemistry this that, and the other so I'm going to sex him I'm going to do this I'm going to do that and you know we have such a strong bond I trust that we are going to be committed sooner or later or one day or this that and the other then do you boo but what I'm saying to you is the, the fourth C, the important C, is that he is ready. As you're flowing from chemistry to conversation to connection and to commitment. Why wouldn't he commit if you guys are flowing and complimenting and flow, just in a, in, a, in a flow together? Like yin and yang, yeah. Like, like, uh, why wouldn't he want commitment? But the choice is always yours. But if he is there and he wants commitment, you have the keeper. You have a keeper in this fist component because this is important in the relationship from the dating, from the chemistry, from the conversation, from the connection why are we connected into the relationship phase of the commitment if he has communication boom you have a caper if he knows how to pick up the phone and say "Babe, don't make no plans for saturday night because we're gonna go out i'm gonna take you someplace nice you don't know where you're going that's so romantic to me that flips me back but Anywho, if he communicates, not show up on Saturday, what you doing? Come on, we going out. You got pl you have plans already. Where we going? I have plans. If he knows how to communicate, two, three days pass. Boo, I was just thinking about you. Just wanted you to know, you know, I miss you. Can't wait to see you, blah, blah, blah. If he knows how to communicate. Not just disappear for two, three days and you guys are dating and in a relationship and pressing forward and committed and things of that nature. If he knows how to communicate and let you know what's going on, let you know how he's feeling. Men don't talk about feelings that much and I'm not going to go all into that either. But if he gives you enough to let you know that we are in a relationship and I know how to communicate He's a keeper. Now, I have one bonus, see, and that's for you with your feminine cute self. With all of those C's that you guys have together, the next thing you need to do, because the ball is in your court, 
It's in your hands. Feminine woman, stay feminine. Stay consistent. That's your C. Consistency will make you a dime, a keeper. It doesn't matter how you guys met, internet, whatever. If he has those five C's, you are committed to those five C's, and then you have consistency. A brother loves consistency because a lot of women nowadays, if you check out some of these brothers' Facebook, YouTube channels, they're talking about fake femininity and these women ain't real feminine women because women get upset and acts other than what they portrayed to be. Or they're feminine until they get the gentleman and then they turn into straight out beast. You have to flow in your feminine energy and allow the brothers to see consistency. You have to be a feminine woman. Femininity has to be your life style. Consistent. That's all I'm going to say. You have the chemistry, conversation, the connection, the commitment, the communication, and you have for yourself consistency and you're off to a great relationship sweetie this is femininity with mama girl don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel the five c's from dating into a relationship the sixth one is yours the ball is in your court it's up to you have a blessed day divas diamonds and dolls